Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, what I'm gonna talk about is one of my favorite travel apps to use. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So one of my favorite travel apps to use is hotels.com. Open that up. So this is a hotels app and I've used it a few, actually quite a few places, mostly in the US, although I do search hotels internationally. I don't take a lot of international trips, but the few that I have taken, hotels.com does have hotels available on their app. So that's kind of nice. I'm just gonna go through the different functions of this hotels.com app. So the first thing I like about this app or this particular company, actually the main reason I like it is because of the reward system. So let me go ahead and click right here on rewards. All right, so the way that Hotels.com is set up is that when you book a hotel with them and you actually book 10 nights, they don't necessarily have to be in a row. They can be you know, one hotel night for 10 months. You just have to get to 10 nights stayed, not 10 bookings, but 10 nights. Then you get the 11th night for free. And that's pretty cool. So that, that may not seem like a lot, but I think of it basically as I'm getting 10% off of each hotel that I stay in each night. So I currently have three nights available for free in hotels.com and that means that I've stayed 30 nights on hotels.com through their hotels so I usually just kind of keep those around they did change their program a few years ago it used to be that if you stay 10 nights at any hotel then you get to choose one night free at any of their hotels that are on their platform which is pretty cool because then you can just stay at 10 cheap hotels and then on the 11th night you can stay at a really fancy hotel that's not the case anymore so basically what they do now is they will average the cost of the 10 nights that you've stayed and then that's the amount of your free night or discount off of so for example this is one of the bonuses i have 71.43 so if i can find a hotel that's 71 dollars and 43 cents then i get it for free if the hotel is let's say a hundred dollars then basically what they're going to do is they're going to deduct 71 dollars and 43 cents off of that night at that hotel so definitely not as good of a deal as what it used to be but still a pretty good deal so that's the one of the functions that's actually the main reason i like it here at the bottom of the app you can see bookings so you can kind of see where you stayed before and if you just need to log where you've been or you know where you're going or whatever then this is kind of a neat little function you can see the past hotels that you stayed at and then you can click in there and then you can kind of see what the fee was for that and then like the historical transaction so that's pretty normal and then here is the favorites i don't know if i have any favorites yeah i don't have any favorites in there but i think if you see a hotel that you think is kind of cool or somewhere that you want to stay you can mark it as a favorite it'll keep it in there and that way you can kind of check back in and see what the price is or see what the availability is and then here on the left is discover so if you want to take a look at some hotels you can just type in the city so I'll be going to well right here I'll be going to Brazil in the near future so let's click right there it saved my recent search and then once you are here in the app you can just scroll through and then kind of see what the hotels look like here you can see they're three and a half star right there and then this right here this rating this is user ratings so people who have actually stayed at the hotel they'll give it a, a rating from one to ten so this one has a nine and then hotels.com rates it at a three and a half star hotel and so that one's probably pretty good let me click on that intercity sadati Baisa. probably not saying that correct if you know leave me a comment below so once you're here in the hotel side then you can see what the price is nightly based off of this date you can click right here and then you can see more pictures so some of these are professional pictures actually all of these are professional pictures these are not user generated pictures all the hotels they supply their own pictures which is okay, but I, I prefer when the user supplies the hotel pictures that are more authentic. And then if you can kind of see the amenities that are available in the hotel, and it's nice they separate between the property and then the room. So like it says Wi-Fi in the property, but not in the room, then you know that there's no Wi-Fi in your room and you need to go into the lobby to use it. So that's just something you wanna look at. They've intertwined with TripAdvisor, so you can see TripAdvisor, 226 reviews, four stars. So that's pretty good. 9.0, 471 guest reviews. So yeah, that's pretty good. This one seems like a pretty good price. When you click book now, so you can choose the different rooms. Be sure you check to see what the different options are because like, for example, this is a 
standard room, one large twin bed. So especially when you're looking international, sometimes you get a twin bed or it might be a shared room or something like that. So always be sure to read that to make sure you know what type of room you're getting. So if you scroll down a little bit more, double room with a double bed, which is probably more typical to what you might be used to in America, $63. So fortunately for this one, it's the same price. But if you didn't catch that, you might show up in Brazil and have a twin bed, which might be okay, but you might be disappointed as well. So be sure to watch out for that. Hey, what about you? Have you ever chose the wrong type of room and then showed up and been disappointed? Leave me a comment. I definitely want to know about that experience of yours. So yeah, this is one of my favorite travel apps to use when I am going on a trip. It's hotels.com. This is not a sponsored review. This is just something that I think is useful if you're going to be traveling and you want to kind of search the prices for hotels. This is a good app to use. So hopefully you like the video. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.